My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? D Laws wanted me to do a video on how to do a reverse reverb effect, and so I'm going to show you how to do that in Studio One. Or you can follow on, follow along and do this in any DAW. Though a few of these things I will be doing will be uh, specific to Studio One, but however, you know, with other DAWs, uh, you should be able to uh, get around it to achieve the same effect. So a reverse reverb is reversing the reverb tail and it's an effect that's used to kind of transition into another part or also add an element of rise, almost like a rise effect in a way, coming into a transition. It's used in pop, dance, um, heard it a couple times on some hip hop songs. Uh, so let's get into how to do this. I've got the same vocal that I used uh, from my last video, which was the Waves Renaissance Reverb. I've just got the Studio One Room Reverb up here. And just a little bit of this vocal again. Long time coming. Long time coming. Long time coming. Long time coming. Long time. Okay, so we're going to use the reverse reverb effect on the beginning of this phrase here. Long time, long time, been a long time. So the first thing you want to do is grab the beginning of the phrase. So that would be here. And I'm going to copy this down to the track below it, which I've named reverse reverb. And from there, I'm going to open my mixer. And what I'm going to do is take the the track that I just copied that vocal phrase to. And I'm going to copy over the room reverb that I have. And with this room reverb, we're going to do just a little a few tweaks to it here. So uh, the length of my reverb tail, I'm going to kick that up to about five seconds. Uh, the mix between the early reflections and the reverb, we're going to tail that, tailor that more towards the reverb here. Uh, just for the effect. And we'll make the size a little bigger too. Okay, so we're going to solo this and we should have... Oh, one thing I want to also mention, you want to make sure that your uh, mix is 100% wet because we want 100% wet sound of the reverb so let's solo this and we should have that phrase with a long rever reverb tail on the end okay so remember I set that reverb tail for five seconds so what we then want to do is now uh, bounce this to uh, if you're in another DAW, you may want to bounce this to another track with the effect. Uh, with Studio One, we have the option to go under Track and Transform to Rendered Audio. When you do that, you'll see an option for the tail. Uh, you want to select Auto Tail, and I've got it set to max length, 7 seconds. So we know that we have a 5 second tail, so this will just to make sure we catch the whole reverb here. Give that a second to process, and there we go. So now we've got the vocal phrase with the reverb uh, printed into the track now. And we still got the same thing. All right, and Studio One was kind enough to go ahead and fade that track out for us. What we want to do now is reverse it. So now I've got it reversed, and with it reversed, let me get rid of the mixer here. Okay, with it reversed, you want to back it up, and we want to just pull it close to the start of that phrase. And from here, it's just a tweaking game, getting it right in the spot that you need it. So right now, this is what we've got. Long time coming. Long time, long time. 
not bad, but there's I'm hearing I'm hearing the end of that phrase. We don't want to hear that, so let's cut it off maybe about there and see what we got. Long time, long time coming. Long time, long time. All right, not bad, and I'm, I'm just gonna bring it up about three dB here, so we can hear it just a little more. Long time coming. Long time, long time. Okay, and that's basically it. Uh, I would, I mean, if I was doing this, I would still tweak this some more. Uh, you may want to fade this out. Ah. Yeah, fade a little of that out on the end. Uh, slide it around. Get it right where you want it. You want the the peak of that buildup uh, to come right as that phrase is coming in. All right, uh, any questions, let me know. Again, that's how you do a reverse reverb in Studio One. I'll catch you all next time.